So people always ask me, what is the best way for budgeting and planning my collection? Well, in this video, I'm going to share eight budgeting tips that will help you managing your collection better without breaking your wallet. Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of Beyond the Box. In this video, we're going to go over certain tips and strategies that's going to help you build your collection while being mindful of your budget. But before we start, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough with the talking, let's start with the video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the very first tip, which is set clear goals. Now, what does this mean? Very simple. The first thing you need to do is identify the figures, the statues or the lines you want to start collecting first and put it in writing in a spreadsheet or notepad, whatever you want to put it. Just put it in writing, see what you have and allocate your budget around those purchases. Now, be mindful that the more you add, the more you're going to spend. So you may want to be selective to start your collecting journey. Tip number two, research and price comparison. And this one here is particularly important. Before you buy from anyone, do your research. Make sure that the store is trustworthy, has good reviews. And most importantly, what is the return policy? You want to kind of like know those things, right? And of course, compare prices among other retailers to get the best value for your money. You can use Comic Concepts, you can use Sasho or any other trusted retailers. Pro tip, use discount codes because that's going to help. Even if it's only $10, it helps. Tip number three, track your expenses. As we discussed before, I would recommend using a spreadsheet, or notepad, or anything you feel is useful for you to keep track of your expenses. This is particularly important because you don't want to go over and over budget yourself. If you put a list of five figures, stay within that range. If you feel that you have extra funds to spend a bit more, by all means, you can modify your list and add the extra figure. So just be sure that you have a realistic list and keep track of those periodically. Tip number four, sell or trade unwanted figures. Now for this particular tip, I would recommend this. If you have a figure that you lost some sort of uh, sentimental value or you no longer need it, put it away for a couple weeks. If you don't miss that figure, that means that's the one you can sell. So do that. Now, in terms of trading, I would recommend doing that in Facebook groups or someone that you trust. Of course, before you do any type of activity, make sure you check references for that person because there's a lot of scammers out there. So pro tip, do your research and use the funds from the figure that you sold into the new one. Tip number five, financial planning. Now, I love this tip, so hear me out, guys. I would suggest opening two accounts. One high yield savings account, normally range between 4.35% to 4.6, 4.7, depending on the company, SoFi, Capital One, the one of your preference, and a checking account. Now, let's say you pre-order 10 figures or two statues or three statues. Instead of making those payments to the retailer, you can actually put that money into your savings. So you divide your item within whatever time to release. So let's say it's 12 months. So you will divide that into 12 and every month that's where you will put in your high yield savings account. By the time the figure or statue is released, you have the money already ready to pay in full and you will have interest that you earn on that money. So you not only pay it off your figure right away or your statue, but also have extra funds to perhaps buy another figure or do another pre-order. So obviously before you do anything, I would recommend you to do your research and see which financial institution will work best for you. Tip number six, keep your accounts separate. What do I mean by that? If you have your hobby account or your personal account, leave those separate. Do not combine them. I made the mistake in the past putting everything in one account and over time it was difficult to manage, especially when I was paying my mortgage, my daycare, and also I was paying for figures. So the best thing you can do is 
isolate, segregate those two, have your hobby account for one thing and your personal account for another. Don't combine them, it will make your life much easier. Tip number seven, payment plans. Now, this is the favorite for so many collectors and rightfully so. This is a great way of financing your collection, especially when uh, you are pre-ordering multiple items. Now, before you engage in any payment plan, make sure you do your research and make sure that the company you're doing business with is trustworthy and reputable. So don't do payment plans with overseas companies that you don't trust because at the end of the day, you may lose a lot of money. Tip number eight, use credit cards to your advantage. And this one here could be a controversial topic because many collectors don't like to use credit cards and rightfully so. You can get into a hole super quick if you don't have a spending habit. But there are credit cards that offer great rewards and also payment plans. So if you're not into opening multiple accounts or high yield savings account, you can use credit cards like Chase Freedom, for example, the one that I use for large purchases and split that purchase between six to 18 months at zero interest. So I'm not only paying that figure or statue every month at a very decent payment, but also making money in rewards, which I can use for something else later. So pro tip, if you're gonna do that, do one at a time and make sure you pay that one off before jumping to the next one. And this is it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below which one of the eight tips was your favorite or which one do you think I missed. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.